You may think you have a good working understanding of monkeys. You might think nothing about a monkey could shock you. Well, guess what? You are about to be proven wrong. These are monkeys you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Celibus Crested Macaque Monkey We're kicking things off with the Celibus Crested Macaque Monkey. This is one of the smallest macaque monkeys, and they are particularly striking due to their all-black appearance. All black except for some white parts on the shoulders, and those kinda creepy red eyes. These monkeys are diurnal, which means they are out and about in the daytime, and terrestrial, meaning they spend most of their lives on the ground, which is a little unusual for monkeys. They do head up into the trees to sleep, however, since it's far safer sleeping up there than on the ground, unless you fall out of the tree, of course. These monkeys aren't always the most popular with people, as they have a habit of eating crops, and so are often hunted and exterminated as pests. While general deforestation has reduced their habitat massively in recent years, they live in pretty large groups, sometimes numbering up to 100 individuals. One thing about this monkey that a ton of people notice is that they have tiny tails measuring barely an inch. This sometimes means that they are confused as being apes, but they are in fact monkeys. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. This cute little guy is called the Crested Tamarin Monkey, also known as the Cotton Top Tamarin. These small New World monkeys are so adorably tiny, they weigh less than 0.5 kilograms. On the count of three, everybody please say ah. Three, two, one, ah. These incredible animals can display a far wider variety of social behavior than many other animals. For example, groups of crested tamarind monkeys will develop a clear dominance hierarchy in which only the most dominant pairs are allowed to breed. As a result, experts have studied them extensively and discovered they showcase an incredibly high level of cooperative care and even engage in behaviors that could be described as spiteful and altruistic. Up until 1976, it was common for them to be, sadly, caught and exported for use in biomedical research, but thankfully, sites have since granted them the highest level of protection, making all international trade illegal. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Spider Monkey The Spider Monkey is called the Spider Monkey because it's a monkey that kind of looks like a spider. This monkey is pretty much the opposite to the Celebes Crested Macaque Monkey because it is famous for having an incredibly strong and useful prehensile tail. It is so skillful it is practically like having an extra arm. The spider monkey hangs off a branch with its tail and uses its free pair of hands to gather fruit. The tail is even hairless on the underside, meaning it can grip like the palm of a hand. Speaking of their hands, spider monkeys are one of the species that do not have thumbs on their hands. The thumb has evolved to be a tiny nub, while the other fingers have elongated, allowing for better control when swinging among the branches. They do still have opposable thumbs on their feet, however. In case they ever need to write an urgent letter or something, spider monkeys also live in matriarchal communities, with the alpha female running things and making the decisions. Number 13. Proboscis Monkey This is a pretty weird looking monkey, and that is due to the proboscis, or nose, which is the longest nose among all primates. The males in particular have enormous noses. They live on the island of Borneo in southern Asia, and they only live here, making this a pretty rare species. 
this here. This one here. One of the uses of their massive noses is to make loud bellowing noises, which can serve as a warning to others that there are predators moving in. These sounds also help the males to attract mates in mating season. Another weird feature of this monkey is the large protruding stomach, which is formed this way so as to help the monkeys digest unripe fruit, which is a major component of their diet. I don't know if you've ever tried eating a load of unripe fruit, but that is a stomach ache waiting to happen. Unless you have one of these special monkey bellies. In the local language, these monkeys are known as Dutchmen, which, you know, there's a little something Vincent Van Gogh about them, that's for sure. Number 12. Tarsier Tarsiers are pretty small monkeys which live on a few islands in Southeast Asia. The number of species of tarsier is actually unknown, but it is believed there are around 18, all of which belong to the same genus, Tarsus. These are nocturnal monkeys, and they weigh only around 5 ounces, at their largest size. Their fur is known to be soft and velvety, and comes in gray, buff, beige, or ochre colors. They have long legs and tails, which gives them fantastic agility in the trees. They also have round heads and huge eyes. In fact, the size of their eyes is the largest of any mammal in relation to overall body size. They are also able to turn their heads 180 degrees in both directions, which makes me wonder if this monkey was the inspiration for the movie The Exorcist. Those huge eyeballs weigh almost the same as this monkey's brain, which maybe means they aren't going to be the geniuses of the monkey world, but they sure make a good watchman with those huge eyes and swiveling heads. Number 11. White-Faced Sake the male and female white-faced sake look almost completely different to one another. The males have jet black hair over most of their body, other than on the face, which is a whitish pink color. Oh, and they have a badass Magnum P.I. style mustache, too. The females are usually gray, but have a weird basin haircut, like one of the beetles. These monkeys spend almost all of their time up in trees, preferring the low to mid canopy level, and rarely come down to the forest floor. Their tails are long and thick, but they are not prehensile, which means they can't grab onto branches as an extra limb like some monkeys can. It does help them to balance in the trees. They live in South America and can be found in Brazil, Venezuela, Guyana. One thing about the sake that's pretty cute is that mating pairs stay together for life. A romantic kind of monkey. And another cute thing is that they fall asleep upright, hugging the tree. So these are tree-hugging love monkeys with hair like Ringo Starr and cool little mustaches for the guys. Neat. Number 10. Pygmy Marmoset Marmosets are another species with soft and silky hair, except on their faces, which are hairless. They do have cool manes around their faces, though, and they come in a whole bunch of different colors, from black to brown to silver to bright orange. These little monkeys like to stay in the trees, and could almost be mistaken for squirrels. These monkeys are considered among the most primitive of primate species, giving us a glimpse of the kind of species we might have evolved from. They are also the smallest monkeys, just six inches in length and weighing less than five ounces. The tail, on the other hand, can grow to around 9 inches, even longer than their body. But unfortunately for these guys, like their cousins above, their tails are not prehensile. So they have to do all that swinging around with just their arms and legs. Boy, that must get tiring eventually. They are known to be gummivores, which means they are gum-feeding specialists. Like gummy bears, I guess? Or gummy monkeys, in this case. Number 9. Squirrel Monkey Here's another monkey that people say looks like a squirrel. Can you guess what it's called? Uh, yeah, it's the squirrel monkey. These guys live in tropical forests from Central to South America, hanging out in the canopy, where they ought to be nice and safe. Only they definitely are not safe, since the squirrel monkey is very often captured for either the exotic pet trade or for use in medical research laboratories. This means that two kinds of squirrel monkey are now considered threatened species, the Central American squirrel monkey and the black squirrel monkey. They have short black black hair, and yellowish or orange coloring on the back of the extremities.
They have black and white colored faces, which has led them being called the Death's Head Monkey in German, which is way more badass than Squirrel Monkey in my opinion. They weigh about 40 ounces and grow to around 17 inches in body length. Strangely, females have fake penises, which they wave around to show dominance over smaller females. Just how the males with big wieners do over the smaller males? Just imagine if that was the same in people. Number 8. Golden Lion Tamarin So Golden Lion Tamarin is a pretty amazing looking monkey. Named for its beautiful golden red and orange fur, which fluffs around its face just like a lion's mane. But that's where the comparisons with lions end, since these monkeys are about 2 pounds in weight, while a full-grown lion can weigh up to a tiny number, you know, 500 pounds. The golden lion tamarin is diurnal, and they spend their days up in the trees doing golden lion tamarin stuff. At night, they use their small size to hide themselves in tiny nooks, and so remain safe from predator attacks. Like a lot of monkeys, their tails are even longer than their bodies. They live in just one spot, the forests of the Atlantic coast of Brazil. Like humans, these monkeys are omnivores, meaning they'll eat pretty much anything, including pizza, probably. But they prefer a diet which mixes fruit and flowers and insects and snails, spiders, and sometimes small lizards, frogs, or even birds. They have extra long bones in their hands, which they use to help them catch hold of insects by digging inside tree trunks. Number 7. Howler Monkey Howler monkeys are found throughout the Americas, and they are a distinct group. And you can probably guess what they are best known for. Yep, these are the loudest animals in the entire New World. And their massive howl can be heard across three miles of thick forest. Once one of these monkeys starts hollering about something, everybody's gotta hear about it. The black howler monkey is the largest monkey in the rainforests of Latin America, and they can grow up to four feet and weigh 22 pounds. They use their prehensile tails to swing between branches. But it's the vocal chambers of this monkey that are so unique. They have a shell-like structure which allows this monkey to make an almighty racket. This usually is a way of telling other howler monkeys whose territory they are on, and just what they should do if they happen to wander into it. They can live as long as 20 years, so if you end up with a group of howler monkeys moving in next door, you might want some good and durable earplugs. Number 6. Common Marmoset the common marmoset is another New World monkey, which originates from the northeastern coast of Brazil, especially in the states of Piauí, Paraíba, Sierra, Rio Grande do Norte, Pernambuco, Alagoas, and Bahia. Nowadays, its range has increased due to the release of previously captive individuals, meaning that since the 1920s, the common marmoset has begun to colonize southern Brazil. The first sighting in the wild of a common marmoset in the region of Rio de Janeiro was in 19. 29, and this has caused a lot of problems, since like every invasive species, it doesn't always seem to respect the house rules of its new place to live. They are very small monkeys with long tails, they can weigh up to 9 ounces, and have multicolored coats sprinkled with brown, gray, and yellow. They have claw-like nails, which help them dig up various kinds of food, and also can be useful for climbing trees, which they do more like a squirrel than a regular monkey. They have a distinctive white blaze on their foreheads, with a black tuft on the head too. Number 5. De Braza's Monkey the De Brazas monkey is an old world monkey and it lives in swamp forests near rivers in Central Africa and Angola. Cameroon, Central African Republic, Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, Gabon, Kenya, South Sudan, Nigeria, and Uganda. They live in troops and were first recorded by an Italian explorer named De Braza, after whom this monkey is named. Also, the capital of Congo, Brazzaville, was named after the same guy, who was clearly pretty busy discovering monkeys and founding cities while out there in Africa. Yeah. 
These monkeys sometimes like to swim and have been spotted in rivers doing a little backstroke. Or doggy paddle, I forget which. They have white muzzles and beards, with an orange crescent on the forehead, as well as white stripes on the thighs. They always live near water, but usually in dense forests, making this a cryptic monkey that researchers don't know a whole lot about. But it's still a pretty cool looking monkey if you ask me. Number 4. Bald Wakari this monkey has a bright crimson-colored face and a very short tail. They also have bald heads and a thick coat of fur. It is a New World monkey that lives in forests, close to water in the western Amazon of Brazil and Peru. They can weigh up to 7.5 pounds and grow to 18 inches in length. The long coat is pretty shaky looking, and it seems to benefit them living in the highest treetops above the kind of forests they like, which experience seasonal flooding. And when the Amazon floods, it floods for real, with crazy high water levels. Once the waters recede, these monkeys will head down to the floor to collect seeds, which is their favorite thing to eat. They will also eat fruit, flowers, insects, and buds. It has a special jaw which allows it to pry open unripe fruit and eat the nuts within them, meaning they they get to the food before a lot of other monkeys would be able to. They live in groups of up to 30 and can cover 3.5 miles of travel in a single day in the treetops. Number 3. Red Shanked Duke This is an old world monkey and its name is the Red Shanked Duke. It is known to be one of the most colorful primates in the world. It lives in Vietnam, southern Laos, and possibly northeastern Cambodia. Until the late 1960s, almost nothing was known about this monkey, but now we have been able to learn a little more about them. They are quite adaptable and will live in a variety of habitats, including lowland, mountains up to 6,600 feet, primary and secondary rainforests, and in semi-deciduous forests. As long as there's some canopy for them to swing about in, it seems they are pretty happy. They spend most of their time up there, coming down to the ground to drink water and eat some good old-fashioned dirt, which gives them minerals. They are about 25 inches long and weigh around 19 pounds. Sometimes this monkey is called the queen of the primates due to their regal coloring. Also, they look kinda like aliens. Are these the guys from the Galactic Federation that's been in the news in 2020? Number 2. Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey These monkeys have a rich golden fur with a black and gold patch on the back. They also have kind of snub noses. So I guess that's why they are called the Golden Snub-Nosed Monkey. These guys live in China, and they live in coniferous forests on mountainsides, which means they have to be pretty hardy, seeing as the temperature can hit 80 degrees in summer and drop to 30 in the winter. They have trefoil-shaped pale blue eyes, and adults have red swellings on the corners of their mouths. They live in the provinces of Shizuan, Gansu, Ubei, and Shanxi, and tend to hang out at lower altitudes in winter, where they can huddle up warm. Which shouldn't be too hard for these highly social monkeys who live in groups of up to 200 individuals. That's a big family, almost like an Italian family. There are even records of these monkeys living in groups of up to 600. When they communicate, they do a weird thing which is kind of like a ventriloquist who has lost his dummy. Focalizing without moving at all, not even the mouth. A little creepy if you ask me. Number 1. Blue Monkey The blue monkey is not actually blue, except for its face, which is kinda blue. The rest of it is olive, gray or brown, with some black markings too. There are seven subspecies of this old world monkey and they are all found in parts of eastern and central Africa. They live mainly in dense and moist evergreen or bamboo forests at high altitude. Unfortunately for these monkeys, locals consider them to be pretty tasty to eat, and they are often hunted for the meat trade. They are not yet considered endangered, but their numbers are declining as they also suffer from habitat destruction. They can grow to 28 inches in length and weigh up to 18 pounds. The males have pretty big canine teeth and white whiskers, which means make them look pretty cool. They are active during the day and are omnivorous, eating mainly fruit, especially figs, leaves, insects, and small invertebrates. 
Like a lot of monkeys, they are very social, and they strengthen this bond with grooming each other's fur for insects, which they can then also eat. Mm -mm -mm. Which was your favorite monkey on our list today? Would you be happier swinging around the trees without a care in the world? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.